Hello friends. Today I will show you how to run Eclipse IDE for C, C++ developers. Now in order to install Eclipse you'll need three things, you need the Java runtime environment, you'll need the new GCC compiler version 4.7 or later and you'll need Eclipse with the CDT, that's the C development tools and you will need the supports for your PC and your Java installation. So first we're going to the Java website and install Java in your system. If you are using 32-bit system type download 32-bits Java version or else download 64-bits for 64-bit system type. So I already have Java on this machine. The next thing we need to do is make sure we have the proper compiler, now there are a number of ways to download and install the GCC compiler and I found one that works that has the latest version of GCC, that support C++11 and C11. So there's this company here called the Equation Solution which has created a version of MinGW that has the latest version GCC, so long story short you come in here this website you go to Programming Tools and go to Fortran C, C++. And you will see down here, Download Official Releases and then select Latest Version to download GCC as per your system type. Now download the latest version of Eclipse and so here we have the Eclipse.com website and under downloads if you look down, here is Eclipse IDE for CC++ developers, that's us. And because I'm coming to this website on a Windows machine it's detected that I am running Windows and this will say Windows, I could select another one if I want to. The right here is that Windows 32 bits and Windows 64 bit and I just download the Windows 64 bit version and I already have that here on my desktop. And so that's the version right there at the same versions on that website. Today, when you come to the website there likely be a different version and you can download that version, so now we have all the pieces that we need to run Eclipse on Windows. So we will start by installing this latest version of GCC from Equation.com. I'd just say accept and I have to put this in a particular path where Eclipse will look for, this path will not work any path that has a space and it will not work and in fact Eclipse just expected to be in a very particular path and it's not the default path so I'm gonna types here. M-I-N-G-W And the M is capitalized G is capitalized and the W is capitalized. So I'm go ahead and press install and this will take a few minutes. Alright we're gonna say finish and now our compiler is properly installed. Now we're gonna go ahead and install Eclipse and to install Eclipse it's actually a little bit simpler. Eclipse comes in the zip file and it's just a bunch of files that you're gonna end up copying to program files. Now extract the zip file. Now you have to copy the extracted file into the program files directory and this is the 64-bit version so I want to be this in the 64-bit program files which does not say x86. There it is Eclipse and there's all that stuff. So I wanna right click and pin it to the taskbar. So we close this end. At this point because this is Windows it's probably a really good idea to restart your machine just to make sure that all of your paths are set up properly. So now we've installed our compiler, we've installed Eclipse, we have Java and so we can go ahead and we can run Eclipse. It's asking me to select a workspace and I'm just going to leave the default and select OK. And I'm going to go to the workbench and there is Eclipse and it's already set up for our CC++ perspective. So before we do anything else you want to go into preferences so we gonna click on the window menu and select preferences. And under general I'm going to open a little disclosure triangle here and click on workspace and you notice down here at the bottom of the text filing coding, this is very important. Our files are cross-platform and they are in the UTF-8 so that is not the default for Windows. This probably worked just fine at least most of the time but UTF-8 is now the standard and so if you're working with source files, especially if you're working with source files they're gonna share with anybody else that might be working on different operating system. You wanna make sure that you are using UTF-8, so I select other here and the drop down box I the select UTF-8. And under new text file line delimiter I want to select other and I want to select Unix, as Windows line delimiter are different and these files are cross-platform and Unix is the standard. 
Now next thing I want to do is I want to come here under C and C++ and open that disclosure triangle and then go to new CDT project wizard. You see under executable I want to make sure that that's opened up and I select empty project, and yours will probably say cross GCC that's not correct you want to make sure the says min GWGCC. And then you want to click on this makes tool chains preferred and you will get a little arrow there next to min GWGCC. Now again go to editors and and select text editors. We're gonna check every box in this except for insert spaces for tabs and show print margin. And leave the display tab width with 4 and leave everything else like it is. Again go to CC++ and select editor and then go to editor and we're going to select folding and here you want to select everything at the top and all these in this little boxes as initially for these regions these all get unselected, so I'm gonna check all of those and uncheck all of these and that enables code folding. But it doesn't initially fold anything so that's all for the preferences. Now we will test our compiler that it works or not. Ok it works fine and gives correct output, that's it friends, thanks for watching, if you like the tutorial please like, comment, and subscribe.